A red light camera is a type of traffic enforcement camera that captures an image of a vehicle that has entered an intersection in spite of the traffic signal indicating red. By automatically photographing vehicles that run red lights, the photo is evidence that assists authorities in their enforcement of traffic laws. Generally, the camera is triggered when a vehicle enters the intersection after the traffic signal has turned red. A citation is then usually mailed to the owner of the vehicle found to be in violation of the law. Red light running happens frequently and is often deadly. In 2020, 928 people were killed in crashes and an estimated 116,000 people were injured in red light running crashes. Since it's impossible for police to be at every intersection, cameras can fill the void. Red light cameras have been shown to reduce both red light violations and crashes. A study sponsored by the Federal Highway Administration evaluated red light camera programs in seven cities It found that, overall, right angle crashes decreased by 25%. Major U.S. cities with red light cameras include Chicago, Denver, New Orleans, New York City, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. Like other government policies and programs, camera enforcement requires acceptance and support among the public as well as elected officials. Some opponents of automated enforcement raise the Big Brother issue, and voters in some cities have rejected cameras. But cameras don't violate privacy. Driving is a regulated activity, and people who obtain licenses are agreeing to abide by certain rules. Red light cameras are a way to catch people who break those rules, just like traditional enforcement. Overall acceptance of cameras always has been strong. Most law-abiding drivers support their use. Although Las Vegas ranks fourth in the top 10 cities for the number of red light running collisions, they are currently banned in the state. But as public pressure in Nevada to control traffic continues to rise, we may be seeing red light cameras in the near future.